All right, um, so ladies and gentlemen, one of the more basic things that we're going to go over, at least we're going to start off uh, for this unit, is how to determine the slope between two points. And I decided to get you guys started off with a good problem rather than giving you guys a basic problem. I, might as, I figured, you know what, I might as well give these guys um, a problem that's going to have them work. Because this is a problem that is going to be similar to the work you're going to be doing. So the first thing is, one of the things we're going to be concerned about is identifying slope between two points. And we'll get more into that uh, today. I'll explain you know, how we're going to be using that. But basically, oh, that is for me. To identify the slope between any two points, we're going to use the formula for the slope formula, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? And so for what I want you guys to understand is when we're talking about slope, especially for linear equations, slope represents the change in the y-coordinates over the change in the x-coordinates between any two points. Slope is not a point. It is a ratio. It is a comparison between the change in the y values over the change in the x values. All right. Um, now, you can see we have two points. Uh, we have two sets of points here. And if you guys remember, when we were graphing, when we were graphing last class or two class periods ago, we were using a table of values. We were plotting using the x and y, right? Whatever you had a coordinate point, every coordinate point had an x and a y coordinate y-axis, x-axis, right? When we plotted points, there was an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. The x-coordinate said how far to go left and right. The y-coordinate said how far to go up and down, right? So these are coordinates. Yes, they're fractions, but they're coordinates. So I can label them x, y, x, y. But to distinguish between them, we use the subscripts. So I'll call this the first point. I'll call this the second point. It doesn't really matter which one you call 1 and 2. Um, you just got to make sure that this coordinate is the same, you know, both ones, and this one's both twos. All right? So now to determine slope between two points, all we're simply going to do is subtract or plug in our points. And make sure when you guys plug in points that you use parentheses minus negative one fourth all over um, two thirds minus one fourth. And the reason why using parentheses is so, is and so important because the most common mistake that students will make, the most common mistake, Angel, that almost all students make, not almost all students, is that they say 4 thirds, oh, minus 1 fourth. No, it's y2 minus y1. y2 minus y1. Does everybody see that? It's a very, very common mistake. So basically, when you're subtracting a negative, that turns into an addition problem. All right. Now, we're trying to subtract fractions that do not have common denominators. So we need to make sure that we get common denominators. So we look at this, we notice that the common denominator is going to be 12. So over here, I'll multiply by 4 over 4. Here, I'll multiply by 3 over 3. Same thing over here. So therefore, basically, my math is now. 16 over 12 plus 3 over 12 divided by 8 over 12 minus 3 over 12. How did, where did you get those red numbers? The red numbers is remember when you have to add fractions, you have to have common denominators, right? You can't add 4 thirds plus 1 fourth because 3 and 4 are not the same. So I determined that the LCD, the least common denominator, was 12. So what do I need to multiply 3 by to get to 12? Four. But when you're multiplying fractions, you've got to make sure you multiply the, the same number in the numerator and denominator to produce an equivalent e fraction. Because hopefully you understand that 4 thirds is equal to 16 twelfths. It's the same fraction. It said this one is multiplied by 4 over 4. So that's why I multiply by 3 over 3, same thing. To get 4 to be 12, I had to multiply by 3. And you've got to do the same thing in the numerator. Make sense? So I did that all there. Now I go ahead and add here, and I get 19 twelfths divided by 5 twelfths. But I think as far as you, a lot of you guys remember, we don't really do too much with subtracting, uh, I'm sorry, dividing fractions, do we? No. no? So if you guys remember, instead of dividing fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of writing this as 19 twelfths divided by 5 twelfths, we can write that as 19 twelfths times 12 over 5. And then, here, 
three student, and you have now my slope is 19 fifths as the 12s divide to 1. Huh? That's one. That's the hardest one you have. You only have one problem that's like that. 